Well, hello everybody. Looks like it's springtime in the Rockies, doesn't it? It was like 80 degrees the other day and here we are in the rain, but that's springtime in the Rockies. This is Trans West Live. And we're here today to show you uh, the, the latest build from, uh, the latest H345 build from Emerald Luxury Coach. Emerald Luxury Coach is, uh, we're proud to offer this, this, uh, this coach. Um, it's a trip 2023 triple slide. It's a fine example of Emerald's elegance and intuitive controls. These are adjectives that we're probably used today, and there's a few others we're going to use today to, uh, as we point out different features of the coach. It's all designed with simplicity, functionality, convenience, and support. So those are the things we're going to talk about in this overview today of this, of this 2023 Emerald Luxury Coach. So I think we'll start here on the outside, and then uh, we'll walk around the outside, and then we'll go inside and, and uh, point out some of the features, features in this overview. Okay, here we go. Of course, in the entry door, you've got a, you've got a keyless entry, and there's also a key fob, and then, and then uh, a regular key lock. So, doorbell, which will give you, give you a, a, a picture and sound of who's at your door when you're back in the stateroom. People, keep, people can, seem to like that. These H models have storage, lots and lots of storage. Each compartment, each compartment in this coach is individually lit. So we try and keep things simple that way. Keep, keep it simple. And then, and then these trays are also, also uh, uh, manual trays. I think they can hold over a thousand pounds a piece on those. So this is bay number one, which is going to be be a storage a storage bay. Bay number two is also a storage bay, with the added feature of a of a of a slide out a slide out table here. You can sit out here for when you're when you're at your spot, and it also protects this huge this huge TV that has a Bose sound bar on it. So this will slide out. So this is multifunctional here with that with that table. It, it, it's something that customers really like to be able to have, you know, when you're sitting out here underneath the awnings on a nice day, to uh, to you know put your beverages or have a nice outdoor meal or whatever. This bay requires a little more uh, explanation. You've got two 5,000 watt Victron inverters. You've got two uh, 24 volt, 200 amp hour uh, automotive grade lithium ion batteries. So, in terms of in terms of length that, length that you can use these, the, the benefit of these is, without having to use your generator, you can run your air conditioner. Um, you can run a couple air conditioners. Or you can just run your lights, and and that that the time usage varies on on how much power you're taking out of here when you're doing that. But it is a long time, either how you're any way you're doing it before the automatic automatic generator start kicks in. So lithium doesn't like doesn't like a lot of heat, doesn't like a lot of cold, and what Emerald has done is they've got they've got fans in here that take take the heat take the heat out and, and fans that, that keep the temperature regulated in here. So it's a nice clean install. They put your your manual control for your rooftop awnings out here in the in a convenient spot. You can also control them from uh, from uh, different things we're going to show you in the in the coach as we go around it. I'm going to close these. That sounds solid.
in the next bay. They put a couple of shelves here with an electrical outlet. With electrical outlet for, for putting things like fluids and, and, and uh, maybe tools and stuff in here. So that's another, that's a convenience, a convenience seal that they do for convenience for, for keeping your coach clean and for, you know, like I said, carrying extra parts and so forth. This bay, this right here is your fuel fill on the, fuel fill on the, uh, on the driver's side, or excuse me, the passenger side. Fuel only on this side. It's over 200 gallons. I think it's 220 gallons, something like that. There's another little storage bay. Your holding tanks are in the width of the coach in here. So you got a nice big fresh water tank and then your gray and your black tank are separate. This is a convenience outlet. You can hook a hose up to it for, for whatever, you know, whatever water needs you need on this side. And again, all these compartments are individually lit. You notice the Prevo, these are Prevo slides too. You notice the radius corners on these slides. So when they're in, it's a flush fit. You don't see any flanges or it's just a nice clean look when they're in. It's all engineered by Prevo. Now here, there's a lot of uh, controls for your hydronic heating system. Your chassis batteries are in here. Um, you just need to know know what's in here, and, and if if you need some assistance, you know Prevo Action Services or the Emerald Service Line can direct you to this bay and say, "What are we looking at here? Send me a picture. You know, we'll get you going again." I talked about Oasis. That's your hydronic heating system. Now there's different forms of heating in the in the coach. You've got electric electric heat. You've got uh, heat pumps in the roof airs, and this gives you uh, humidified coach heat and hot water on demand. A nice engine bay for that D13 Volvo, 500 horsepower. There's a schematic for the belt here, the trailer connection pin out. Prevo features an electronic fans on the, on the side here, and what that does is it transfers. It used to be a used to be a, a, a engine driven. Going this route, and they've done it for the past few years, transfers that horsepower that was there to a more usable area, i.e. your drive axle. A little more power there. <laughs> to release, to release this, this hood, push up, and that releases that there, and then gravity takes over and down it comes. Isn't that paint job beautiful on this thing? Like I said, this is a triple slide. So there's another slide out over here. I'm six foot two. I'm not going to bump my head on this one. We talked about simplicity. This is your main bay right here. Everything is accessible. 
You've got your main water pump. It's all nicely labeled with your auxiliary water pump. What we've done too is we put a system out here. And there's four of these in the coach. And when we get inside, I'll show you more about this. But you can go through the, we'll go through all that inside. But the, remember there's, there's one here and then there's three, let's see. Yeah, three inside. Heated bay, would be nice on a day like today. What is it, maybe in the high 30s, low 40s today? Again, you got a, you got a water, a uh, water bypass here. Excuse me, not a bypass, but a convenience faucet. Macerator pump, the toilets inside are also macerator, but additionally you have the option of using a macerator pump if you want. And that comes, that comes on this side. You've got two options to empty your empty your holding tank the old-fashioned way there with with electric dump valves or using the macerator that threads down through here in this in this compartment you've got a 55 foot power cord manual pull out electric retract it's all nicely labeled here same with your water hose electric pull out i mean manual pull out electric retract did i say that backwards sorry about that anyway generator battery is dedicated to the generator that's in the in the in the bay next door and it's got a solar panel on the roof to keep this battery battery so he's thought about a lot of things if it wasn't so rainy we'd put this mat outside it's a nice place to, you know, for your entry door. It's a nice place to store it right there. Now on this side, your fuel fill also includes your, also includes your uh, def tank. Fuel here, def here. And of course, with these big rigs, you're going to go to a truck stop most of the time. And right where you're standing right now is going to be where the fuel pump is and the def nozzle is going to be there. So it's very convenient to have it on this side. You're not having to move the coach, move the coach around to, to, uh, you know, to top everything off. Your awning control, awning control box is inside here. If you have cable TV, if you want, if you have cable TV, which most people don't anymore, but it's already set up there for you. And like I said, that's your battery charger, generator selector switch. Up here, if you look at this, if you look at this right here, when you're, when you first. Plug your coach into the 50 amp pole wherever you're at. You come in here and you, this is going to give you a readout of what your voltage is going into the house before you before it goes before it goes in. So you'll know right away if you've got a if you've got a bad connection at the at the uh, from the pole. So you got to look up at that. Okay, here's a, it's a 20 kW uh, PowerTech diesel generator. It's on a slide out tray for service. Nicely insulated, nicely finished off. This is bay number two from the from the driver's side. 
All the TVs have sound bars and, and subwoofers. This is the subwoofer for the big TV that's back there. And then here, we all know where our where our breaker boxes are in our home, don't we? Look how nicely labeled this is. So where's the first place you look if something's not working? You look at the pole, you got power at the pole, look at your breakers. Same thing you do at your house, right? You get four of these chairs too, the fold out zip D chairs. This would be spare parts and belts, and those are your manuals. The slide out control box. It's got a nice camera system on it. This is mainly a mainly a Prevo, a Prevo uh, compartment. You've got windshield washer, headlight washer. And behind here, there's a series of relays. There's a nice legend here that tells you what's tells you what goes where. And again, it's a matter of a phone call to Prevo or to uh, to the Emerald Service Line. What's the problem? They can diagnose it over the phone. The simplicity of things that they put together here is, is pretty neat. They can diagnose it over the phone. So I want you to go to bay number one, take this cover off, which comes off very easy. Check this relay, check that fuse. Normally it will get you going right away. windshield wipers come all the way out make it easy to clean the clean the windshield <sighs> want to go warm up I'll open the door for you you can go first Now this is where the word Emerald Elegance comes into play. I mean, the design team there at Emerald has really done a fantastic job of making these coaches feel very comfortable and, and, uh, and just simply elegant. We get a lot of comments from, from, from customers who are saying, I really like this. It's not overdone, it's not overstated. Um, they can, I can stay in this coach for a while, you know. Over, Sometimes you go to, after you've been in Vegas, how many, you've been there three days, it's getting me out of town, right? Well, in these buses, it's not that way. So why don't we go to the back and we'll work our way forward. And then when you're back there in the rear bath, I can point some things out to you. Elegance, intuitive controls, simplicity, functionality, convenience, and support. So the elegance part, we're experiencing that right now. I mean, in that shower, let's see the dual sinks. I mean, in that shower, I'm, I'm, again, I'm six foot two. I can fit in there real easy, and it's got plenty of room. It's nicely, nicely finished off. You 
the functionality part, they've given you lots of storage. Lots of storage in the, uh, in just about anywhere you look at it. There's six, six drawers here that are full extension. And then behind here, behind here you've got, this is something new they've done too for convenience. I guess that's for the ladies to hang their necklaces or something. I hadn't seen that in a previous coach, but pretty nice idea. By the way, this in the bath and the half, the customers that have bought these, <laughs> this usually ends up being that way, you know, this ends up being her bath and then and then the half bath up here. So I was talking about the the uh, the, uh, the uh, pads that are inside the coach. When we get up front, we'll I'll run through this with you too. But there's one there, one here, and there's also there's also controls on the wall. If you don't want to use this, there's controls on the wall that do a lot of the functions as well. I would think this would be like a jacket closet. And then they've given you storage, not only, not only down here, but also storage, lots of it. You know, RVers, the Prevo people might, sometimes they'll spend two or three months in them, you know, following the season around if they want to go to they want to get into uh, you know 78 degree weather and stay for a while, so they need to take some stuff with them. So Emerald gives you lots of storage. There's two slide outs in the back here. This triple slide has two in the back, and then and then the, and then the big one up front. So it makes a nice stateroom. And then here, you put a nice mirror there when you're getting ready to go out to dinner and so forth, you know. This is a huge closet. Can you get around there? It's a huge closet with a little wall safe and then two more drawers down there. Electrical outlet, some people like to take those little, those little uh, electric broomsticks with them. That would fit in there. You're well equipped to spend a lot of time checking out North America if you want. You got a nice mealy uh, washer dryer setup. So this is kind of the stateroom. Then here's the half bath I was talking about. I mean, it's a nice sizable half bath and it too has quite a bit of storage in it. Like behind those mirrors are storage and then pull out drawers down below. And Emerald Elegance. Come on through this way. What a pantry this is. Pull out shelves. And then you get regular for boxes and stuff like that with adjustable shelving. Not one, but two. So that's a nice use of space also. You know, these things are roughly 45 feet long and roughly eight feet wide. So it's how the converter uses the available square inches of space that makes it, that makes it what it is. And with what Emerald has, has uh, been able to accomplish is be able to get the most functional use of the space possible and give you storage, give you usable, usable counter space, give you usable, you know, nice state room. So, you know, they've come on, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're highly sought after these days. I mean, Emerald has done a great job in, in uh, keeping up with, with demand and we're lucky we have this one available. You get storage up here. 
Now with this, with this dinette booth, this will go down and you can put a pad over it for grandkids or, you know, usually it's, usually it's a couple in these things, but sometimes, you know, that sofa's motorized too for, but the old adage is, you know, six for adult beverages, four for dinner, two to sleep. And this is set up nicely that way. But in an emergency, like I said, if you want to take the grandkids or, or, uh, or uh, you know, if you have some adult friends that are going to stay overnight, you can accommodate them. Pull out drawers. This is a, this is a, a uh, Wolf induction two burner cooktop. Viking microwave convection. Corian sink. I don't know if you remember we were outside in that bay, in the plumbing bay out there, there was a there's a Culligan soft water filter, there's a Culligan filter out there that services this uh, for drinking water only. And then and then this of course is for your this is for drinking water and that is that's for uh, normal hot and hot and hot and cold water. That's my briefcase. I keep it underneath there. There you go. Nice place for trash. It's the little things and the simplicity of things that people really like. You know, some coaches, where do I put my trash? Oh, put it there. Or, you know, what about my dish? What, what about my dishes? Well, wash them here, you know. These are nice sized drawers. Emerald Luxury Coaches. Did I go by the refrigerator? Excuse me. Here we go. This is a Fisher Pick Hill refrigerator. Your freezer's down below with an ice maker down below. It pulls out here. Another advantage of, the, of these dinette booths, these face-to-face -face booths is in your subwoofer for your, for your Bose sound system is underneath that chair there. Let's trade places here. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about, about these pads I've been walking by. Just think of this. I'm going to sit down here and do this. You can put the, put the, put the camera on here. Just think of this, excuse me, think of this line as a file cabinet, okay? So I go to home here and it gives me all of these, all these little icons here. Oh, I want to open my light file cabinet. Oh, there we go. I can, I can dim my lights. I can, I can turn my light master on or off. Well, I don't want to do lights. Here, I'm going to see what's going on with my power. It tells you what's going on with your power. This is just telling me that it, we run, we're, we're, not, we're not hooked up to power right now. We're, we're sitting here um, just running off battery. If I want to do climate, Front, rear, bay, vent fans, it's all labeled and it's just a matter of touching it. Okay, I want to do shades. Front shade master. Or I can do them individually. So if you think of it in terms of, of this being the file cabinet, and here are the drawers to the file cabinet. It seems to make sense to, you know, and make this, make this feel a whole lot more, um, what's the word, maybe easy to use. It's got the front TV, it will go down. It's got two satellite dishes on it. They're both in motion. 
Um, it's got hot water circulation. There's the electric sofa switch I was telling you about. You can put your awnings out from here, or you've got that manual control outside. And there's different places you can do that. You can dump your tanks, turn your macerator pump on. Black, I mean, these are all identical throughout the coach. Two in the stateroom, one here, then one up at the driver's station, and then one outside at the plumbing bay that we were looking at. So let's keep things simple. Let's keep things, let's, let's keep it uh, uh, you know, very usable. Does that make sense a little bit? So, or you can do the same thing here. Not the same thing, but a lot of the same functions on these wall switches. Now over here, these recliners are, when these recliners are very comfortable. In addition, you've got a slide out tray there. It comes with an iPad and the iPad will be installed here and we'll show you those kinds of functions on that iPad when, when uh, you know, when you come to take delivery of it. More wall switches. So it's a very comfortable coach that way. Um, there's a big TV that drops down here. There's a TV here. Again, both the, both of the uh, uh, satellite systems are in motion. So, you know, the cooking channel or the football game. Somebody could be sitting right there watching that. Or we're going down the road. Not bad, huh? So up in the cab, up in the cab, it's this is a this is a standard Prevo dash, and we do that on purpose. When you go to when you go to Prevo, when you go to Prevo Service Center, um, and they need to do something here, they're already familiar with what's going on here. So that's the thinking behind that. And then I'm going to sit at the steering wheel here for a minute. This is a, a, a surround camera system. It's called a Brigade. It's got a camera in the front, side, rear, and side. And then it's got an overview also. And there's also a backup camera on this Garmin system. This Garmin system is also a, uh, a radio and GPS. You've got a, got a uh, um, CB radio there, a Prevo, a Prevo uh, dash air conditioning system. We order these Prevos from, uh, from uh, Prevo with the transmission retarder. This transmission, this transmission retarder is an auxiliary braking system that gives you up to 300 braking horsepower when you're when you when you pull this, there's six different detents, and when you have it all the way down here, when you lift your foot off the accelerator, it's going to kick in and and help to slow you down. This is a, a 55,500 pound GVW um, uh, vehicle. You need to have some form of auxiliary braking. You have air disc brakes all the way around, so when you're driving these things, when you're using this thing the way that you know, you get used to using this. They feel, they feel like a much smaller vehicle. Like, I like to tell people, you're in control of it, it's not in control of you. And why is that? It's because a lot of the things that you, because a lot of the engineering that's gone into this, the part you can't see is what makes it very comfortable at this steering wheel. You know, Prevo's getting ready to celebrate their 100th year anniversary next year. And for that matter, Emerald's going to be celebrating their 10-year anniversary of building these buses. Um, that, that's, that's uh, you know, 100 years of building buses. they got to be doing something right. And 10 years in the, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, bus conversion business by Emerald, who, by the way, um, was converting other vehicles, it, it had been converting other other forms of transportation for over 25 years. This platform is a great thing, a great thing to build on right here. I mean, it, when you got this whole cage, this whole stainless steel cage, 
It just makes things very quiet in here. It makes things very comfortable. Um, like I said, you're in control of it. It's not in control of you. You got a six-speed automatic transmission. You got a uh, tire, a Prevo engineered tire pressure monitoring system that tells you what's going on with with your uh, eight tires. Um, the gauges down here are kind of self-explanatory. We go through all of that with you when you when you come to take delivery of your coach. The steering wheel is a tilt telescoping wheel. It's just a very it's just a very comfortable, very comfortable uh, 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 driver's station. You know, one small thing that <laughs> it doesn't seem like much, but when you're putting miles on, if, see where my foot is, my left foot here, that's at an angle, and you're 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 at an angle here. It's a lot more comfortable than having your foot sit. It it doesn't seem like much, but that makes a difference when you're going down the road and putting miles on. Believe me, I've been, we were in 26 states here the year before last and we put some miles on and, and uh, I found out that, you know, if I drive something else and it doesn't have that, I miss it because it's, it's, it's very, very comfortable. So what I wanted to show you all today was give you an overview of, of what, what this Prevo is about and what Emerald is about. And hopefully, you know, hopefully, uh, um, I hope, you know, hopefully I've got to did a pretty good job of, of, of giving you a little overview of, of the elegance of an emerald, of the simplicity, of the functionality, and, uh, and, and in terms of support, I'll talk about that briefly. Uh, uh, the emerald service line is banned all the time. Um, and it goes to, it, it, you know, it, if it goes, it goes to off hours, it, it goes to a tech. If that tech doesn't, it, 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 it's in a series to where you'll get an answer. Um, and then in that term, also Prevo Action Services, if there's something Prevo related, uh, we give you that phone number, you have Emerald's phone number, you have TransWest phone number. Um, we're out there to take care of you and hopefully have pointed out some of the things that, that you need to know as an owner that you can, you know, once you get on the phone with this and maybe send us a picture or two, we know how these things are built. We know what to, you know, we, if we know where to direct you to, to, to look at, you know, why isn't this working? Why isn't that working? Well, you know, a lot of times we can solve problems like that on the road because of the way the coach is built. Um, after all, these things are rolling earthquakes going down the road and support you need support, and we're there for you with it. So, if you got any questions, you know, or if you want to, if you want to get a little bit more in depth on anything that I've shown you today, um, I'm available by cell phone. I'm available by text. I'm available by uh, email, and I think they'll probably put a banner across the bottom of this. Of this uh, video to uh, to give you those numbers. Um, this is really Emerald is is one of five recognized converters, and they're they're highly sought after. I mean, like I said before, we're we're one of the. This is the this is probably the only one, only new one that's available at this time. Um, I know these these videos are going to be. Uh, out there for a long time, but you know, we we want to build we want to build a quality coach, and it takes a little bit of time to do it, and and here we are. Thank you very much for letting me show you this bus. <laughs>